Hello everyone. The ongoing trial within the trial of Senzo Mewa murder trial is continuing in Pretoria at High Court. She only confirmed that there were indeed garages and still site in their way to Gatle Hong. Also, the witness didn't confirm other routes that were on the automotive vehicle location report, and that frustrated Mkomezulu. Judge Rata Mokwatling, who's presiding over the matter, asked Mkomezulu that which report he's talking about now because the AVL report is being prepared by Mr. Dupree. Why he's putting it as a fact to the witness because he hasn't seen the report. Advocate Mkomezulu said he'll put it as a fact and it will remain a fact. He has indicated before to the court that he cannot be a witness in the description of the place, but it will be a fact that will be discovered by the expert. And in fact, the place do exist. And further said that there is a dumping site as you approach Hiddleberg and went on to say that he wants to establish the area so that the court can have a proper picture of what is happening around that area and further asked that and further asked the witness if she has driven from Dinitri side to Albertsim using Grey Avenue. The witness responded and said no. Gomezulu further asked that has she been in the engine garage, the first garage at Grey Avenue. The witness said she's not sure but she knows that there is a garage when you drive along entry before you get to RR4. Mgomezulu said there's a robot in that garage. The witness confirmed it. Mgomezulu said that according to the AVL, it reflects Collins Street and the street when you turn right is Collins Street. The witness said she doesn't agree but she doesn't even know if that street exists. Judge Rata interfered again and asked him that what is he trying to establish? Is it the dumping site? Gomezulu said no your lordship. The judge said he's taking too long and it's been 15 minutes. They are only talking about the roads. Something must happen somewhere there. Gomezulu said he just wants to indicate that according to the witness of the states, he got this opportunity for this witness because she's familiar with Gatle Hong. Judge Raja said but she said she's not sure whether there is in fact a dumping place or a still site and asked the witness to confirm it because he thought that that is his crux of his cross-examination. Gomezulu said that the crux will be relevant to what is contained in the AVL report and there's no other witness that can confirm the geographical position of that area other than this witness. Rata asked that what about the AVL because she can't confirm the AVL and the AVL confirms her evidence because she said she's not aware of a dumping site. Advocate Ngomizul said he has passed that site and he has already put it to her that there is a dumping site. The AVL report will confirm that there is a dumping site and he's moving into areas that he has mentioned on the AVL. The previous witness, Mr. Mohane, has given evidence relating to the Collins Street and other relevant streets that are in the report. Judge Rata said it's fine, he can continue. Gomezulu then continued and put it to the witness that on 1851 the car joined Jimiston and at 1852 was driving near Collins Street, 1853 near Albertson, 1935 the car was in excess idle and driving near Albemarle Jimiston and said according to that AVL report it places all streets next to the engine garage. That has Wimpy, does she agree? The witness said she can hear him. Gomezulu then put it to the witness that on the 30th of May 2020, she was in Tembisa. She confirmed it. Gomezulu then said according to her evidence, she was allocated a docket under case number 21407 stroke 2019 by Brigadier Geninda and asked her if it was the first time she received a, do a docket in December 2019. The witness was confused about the dates. Gomezulu put it through the witness that it was the first time getting a docket from Geninda in December 2019. The witness disagreed and then advocate asked that when was the docket allocated. She said it was November 2019 and it was the first time receiving that do docket. Gomezulu further asked if she has familiarized herself with the content of the docket before she investigated. She said that's correct. The advocate then asked if she has the document. The witness said yes. He further asked about the date of offense that are alleged to have been committed. She said it was on the 19th of March 2019. 
Gomez Zulu said at that time she was not allocated the, that document. She confirmed it. Gomez Zulu furthermore said that there was that matter even taken for a decision to the senior public prosecutor. The witness said she's the one who took that decision. Gomez Zulu said, Did it fall under the cold cases? The witness confirmed it. Then the advocate asked her why she's saying that. She said it was still unsolved when she received the docket. Gomez Zulu further said that was it the only docket allocated to her which fell under cold cases in that month of November. She said she can't remember but has other dockets that she has investigated and are currently on trial. Gomez Zulu said when she took the matter for a decision to SPP, was there any suspect that was arrested prior to her taking the docket? She said that there is information that there was a suspect arrested. Gomez Zulu further asked that when was the suspect arrested? The witness said the person was arrested on the 19th of March 2019. Gomez Zulu also asked that what happened after the suspect was arrested. She said it was taken to court but however a matter was not placed on the court roll due to the fact that the items that he was found in position were not taken to lab. To confirm the drugs, Gomez Ulu further asked if she knows that there were any summons that were served upon the suspect. She said there were no summons. Gomez Ulu put it to the witness that he wants to establish the legitimacy of the J50. Where did it come from? And why was it issued? The witness said it was issued because she asked the court to take a decision and laid basis on the application to be authorized. What's your take on this one, people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.